Yo, what is up NBA and basketball fans? It's the era of the point guards and gone are the days of the point guards being these pass first and get my teammates involved type players. Point guards in today's NBA are more athletic, explosive, and quite frankly not just more willing, but want to carry the offensive load more than ever. I mean 99% of the time they are the first players to touch the ball on every possession, and now they're also the players who touch the ball last on every possession. It is not too uncommon for them to be the only player to touch the ball at all during a possession. But this video is not a comparison of how guard play has changed over the years, and quite frankly, I don't mind the way some of the point guards in the NBA play today at all. I mean, who doesn't want to see some amazing handles and some poor fool's ankles getting completely shattered? Or the shortest guy on the court driving to the paint and absolutely obliterating one of the biggest players? It's fun to watch. So today I want to embrace the new era of point guards and more specifically talk about a certain player who I believe has a great chance to go down as one of the best point guards ever once his career is all said and done. When Kyrie Irving was taken number one by the Cavs back in 2011, everyone who knew anything at all about basketball knew that he would be a star. However, seeing as how he was drafted by Cleveland, a team which at the time could have easily been mistaken for a team at your local YMCA, he spent the first few years of his career far out of the limelight. However, now that he's fresh off his first NBA championship run, the national audience is beginning to pay much more attention to their flashy Uncle Drew, especially after the dazzling performance he gave in the 2016 NBA Finals. So now I think that it's time to take a look at just how good Kyrie Irving is at such a young age. As you can see, his first five seasons in the NBA have been pretty consistent, averaging around 20 points, 5 to 6 assists, and 3 to 4 rebounds per game. Now those numbers aren't anything to necessarily write home about, I mean yeah they're good, but at the same time they're nothing that's going to get you any MVP chance in the near future. However, averaging those kind of numbers your first three seasons in the league is pretty impressive. And as for the seeming halt in his progression, keep in mind that for the past few years, he has had to sacrifice his numbers to play along LeBron James and I guess you could say Kevin Love too. Especially in the assist category where 4.7 assists per game is extremely low for a starting point guard no matter how you look at it. But since LeBron James is the primary ball hander for the Cavs most of the time, I guess we can cut him a little bit of slack in this department. Now I'm not going to make any kind of bold statement and say something like if he didn't have to give LeBron James and Kevin Love so many touches every game, that his numbers probably would have been between 25 to 27 points per game and you know like 7 or 8 assists. Like I'm not going to say that because there's no way to prove it. But what I will say is this. When it comes to guarding Kyrie Irving, there is no player in the league that is a harder cover. He can beat you in so many different ways. Actually, no, not just so many different ways, but every possible way. And on top of that, he will make you the laughing stock of the basketball world after he does it. This guy knows what I am talking about. But something that may help prove this point could be his playoff production. The playoffs compared to a regular season are a completely different monster. Defenses are typically tougher and the refs seem to be a lot less quick to make calls. So for a young emerging star like Kyrie Irving, it's a huge test just to see what kind of player he really is. And he most definitely did not disappoint as he averaged 25 points per game while shooting around 48% from the field and 44% from just beyond the arc. Sure, you could attribute this spike in numbers to the fact that he was getting around 5-6 to six more minutes per game in the postseason, but remember that it is the postseason. The stakes are a lot higher just like the pressure, and the fact that Kyrie Irving displayed such confidence in himself and did not crack under pressure is a great sign for his future. Also, don't forget that he has some pretty big moments in the playoffs and specifically in the finals where he averaged 28 points per game. And quick note of the confidence thing, I guess this shouldn't come as too much of a surprise considering he is the player who came into the league and in his first year challenged Kobe Bryant to a game of one on one. Kobe, Kobe, oh my god, no no, this is me going to talk to you one on one. Thank you. 
Numbers aside, if I had to pick one player who best symbolizes the modern day point guard, it would be Kyrie Irving. Unlike some of the other point guards in the league today, Irving checks off every single box that symbolizes the characteristics of a new age guard. Speed, agility, athleticism, explosiveness, ability to score anywhere on the court. Not only does he check off every single box, because even though they're not elite, I can still think of at least a couple other players who could check off all the boxes as well, but he checks them off and then some. And what's even scarier is the fact that he's only 24. He still has a solid 3-4 to four years before he even enters his prime, and he's already being regarded as not just one of the premier guards, but one of the premier players in the league. He also already has quite a few accomplishments under his belt at such a young age, the most notable being Rookie of the Year, All-Star MVP, Olympic Gold Medalist, and now an NBA champion, but you know, no big deal, right? As for Kyrie Irving's future going forward, I decided to take a look back in time and find a player that he most resembles, just so we could see what kind of player he might turn out to be. I had to find another player who was quick, athletic, explosive, had the best handles in the league, and could score in a variety of different ways. And the player that immediately came to my mind was Allen Iverson. Is there any player here that you, in this league now, do you wish that you could play against? Um, Kyrie Irving, man. Now I'm not saying that Kyrie Irving is the next Allen Iverson or that he will be better than AI, but what I am saying is that Kyrie and AI's game are eerily similar. They both love to take their man off the dribble and relish the chance to put them on the wrong end of a highlight reel. They're both extremely fast and can catch defenders off guard with their lightning quick first step. They're not afraid of contact and love to drive to the paint amongst the bigs and finish with some of the most acrobatic layups the NBA has ever seen. They're both score first, score second, score third, pass forward so you can pass back to me when I'm in a better position to score first type point guards. The only thing I'd say Kyrie is a little better at is his outside shooting, which you can just contribute to the larger amount of outside shooting in the NBA today as a whole. But other than that, as far as offensive abilities go, I don't believe that there's anything Iverson that could do that Irving couldn't, and same could be said the other way around too. Now Kyrie may never put up the same type of numbers that Iverson did, especially if he has to continue to share the spotlight with other great players throughout his career, but if we're just talking about sheer ability and skill, then you'd be hard pressed to ever find someone as great as Kyrie, especially at such a young age. I mean, he's only 24 and will only get better. But I think it's also safe to say that without Iverson revolutionizing the way point guards play, I don't even think I'd be making this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you want to see more NBA videos. And until next time, remember to keep getting the buckets team SDC, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.